Hello little nippers 5 here and today I'm going to give you a quick update on my guinea pigs because I've remodelled their CNC cage. Um, I'm really sorry about the what's in my hands just cage video, I don't even know why it's on there. Probably be taken off by the time you're watching this because it was really shaky. So I'm going to make a new one of that. So, thought I'd make a new video on my guinea pig cage. As you can see, it's a 2x5 cage. The ideal space for 3 guinea pigs to 4 guinea pigs is a 2x6, but sadly we don't have... Four more grids. Wait, no, it would be six more grids. We only have two more grids, so we couldn't really extend it, I'm afraid. Unless we should make like a triangle thing with no lid, which wouldn't really work. Puppy's there, and Jesus is there. So, yeah, um, if you're wondering what happened to Rachel and Chocolate, Chocolate is in that little house there. And. Sorry, that was awkward. Here's Rachel. So, we're all together now. I'm going to move all that grass over there because when it's here, it makes the fleece really dirty. So, basically, it's the same size cage and everything. We've just put the where the guinea pigs on here. Up here is a spare wine box and a sort of. I don't know what you call it. I guess, I guess it's a food dish. Um, this here can go up. There's a spare water bottle up there as well. That's why it's making that noise. Yeah. God, Jazz, what did you do? So there's Rachel. You're okay, baby. You're okay. They're all living together because they all get along now, so that's quite nice. You can't do that. Quartet in here, and then Aurea wasn't getting along with anyone, so her cage is basically the same as it was before. Uh, we decided to go with the rest of the Superfoot bedding in there because we used it all last time. Then the sawdust here, which they seem to have kicked everywhere, which I need to really tidy up. I do spot cleaning every day to keep it tidy. Uh, there's they sort of got like two areas here, one here. And then one in there. Sorry, just a noisy car going past. So they can eat out of the feeder. If you're wondering how we get it in, this actually comes out. But it is very stable because it's cable tied in, but we just uncable tie it. Uh, under here is sort of like a little kitchen area, I guess. Um, we really need to put down like some lino or something there to stop it from being revolting. But they've got their two food dishes there, and then their water bottles here. Which really need it clean. We have forests at the bottom. Of them. Then there's this little wooden hut which chocolate is currently in. And then we've got these tubes for them to run around in. Yes. And we've got the wine boxes and the fuzz spot beds. So that's like the sleeping area. In area. So yeah, I want to move that house back over there though. So I'm just gonna move the hay so I can. And then I'm just going to start filming my guinea pigs and show you what they do in a normal day. Leave Rachel alone and chocolate. I will sort this out. Okay, uh, see you guys soon. And I really need to work on, because my phone, it goes like this as it films. And with the fact that I'm a bit wobbly because I was only using one hand to film, it's even worse. So yes, I will see everybody later. Bye. Say bye bye, just big. That didn't work. Bye.